What's up everybody? Dylan here from Veteran Aquatics and today it's New Year's. So Happy New Year's everybody. I hope everybody has a safe and happy New Year's and I hope 2020 is a great year for everybody, myself included. I've got big plans. I've got a lot of stuff that I'm working on um, both professionally, um, personally, and in the fish room. So here's the 2020. Let's get it y'all. So today the video is actually going to be about substrate. Um, so gravel, sand, and bare bottom are the common three. Um, we're going to talk about the pros and cons for each, what I use in my tanks and why, and how to decide when you're setting up your tank. All right. So first, let's take a look at some of my tanks. All right. You guys should know at this point that I use black, black diamond blasting sand in a lot of my tanks. I just love the way it looks. It's super cheap. It's about eight dollars for a fifty-pound bag at any tractor supply if you're in the U.S. Right. Um, I like sand for a couple of reasons. So for one, it's pretty good for plants, right? So sand is denser than the gravel, there's less airspace, and because of that it traps more of the waste from the tank. Now generally speaking in an unplanted aquarium that's not a good thing. In a planted aquarium however, the waste is what the plants use for food. Um, so if you have plants in your tank, I would definitely suggest sand over gravel. That said, there are a couple of reasons why you won't use sand. If you're using a hang on the back filter, I wouldn't recommend it, right? Your filter's going to end up sucking up the sand, it's going to clog, it's going to destroy the propeller, and you're going to need a new one. Um, using a gravel vacuum. So I haven't had too much of an issue with it. Um, the black diamond sand is a little bit denser than regular sand, so it sinks a little bit better. But when you're using like a python like I use, you can run into problems with sucking up the sand um, through the gravel back. All right. uh, personally, my preference is sand and it's only because I really like the way it looks and I love plants in my tanks. All right. um, you can also get aquarium soil um, if you're going to do a planted tank. If you do get aquarium soil, I would recommend you put something on as a top layer, um, be it sand or gravel just to kind of hold it down and to keep the silt from stirring, getting stirred up and going around your tank, all right? So next we have gravel. So I've got gravel in a few of my tanks. So this is my one of my guppy fry tanks. Um, it's got gravel. It's black and white. It looks pretty nice. Uh, it's easy to clean. Um, there's only a couple of plants in here, so it's not a big deal. And that's that's really pretty much it, guys. I mean, it's a little bit more expensive, right? Gravel is more expensive, um, especially if you buy aquarium gravel, which if you're buying gravel, I would recommend it. So you're going to pay probably like 8 bucks for a 5-pound bag, as opposed to, like I said, the Black Diamond Blasting Sand is about 8 bucks for a 50-pound bag. Um, it's really up to the way you want it to look, guys. It's really what it comes down to. All right? So if, if you like the look of sand, do sand. If you like the look of gravel, do gravel. You know, if you have a specific color that you're after, I would definitely go for the gravel, but personally I like black, so I go with sand. Um, I was going to wait, but I'll show you guys the 125 so far. There's no lights or filters on them yet. Uh, I've just got sand in the top one. The bottom one here does have water. I have filled it up. I have put some of the plastic plants. This is going to be a cichlid tank, so I'm not going to do live plants. They'll just tear them up. Right. Cichlids destroy plants, usually. Um, and then there's bare bottom tanks. So I don't like bare bottom tanks. I am an aesthetics person. Cleaning wise, it's the, the top of the list. I mean, you don't have anything to clean. You can just scrape the algae off the bottom with a scraper or a razor blade. You can just use a siphon hose to get anything off the bottom. You don't have to worry about it. A lot of people do it for grow out tanks or breeding tanks just to make their lives easy. Um, I just I just don't like the way it looks, guys. I, I just can't do it, you know? Maybe one day if I have a very large scale breeding thing going on, I'll do it. But as it sits right now, everything's pretty manageable with a gravel vacuum. I just won't do it, right? Um, it, it just looks bad, in my opinion, for pet stores or for 
wholesalers or for fish farms, it makes sense, right? Because they already have so much work involved in the operation that it saves them that much time that it's worth it to them, right? Um, but for me, it's not. I like to look at my tanks. They're here for my enjoyment. Um, that said, I mean, I am trying to breed things. I have more guppies than I'll ever know what to do with. I have celestial pearl daniels that I'm going to start working on here shortly. Once the jaguar cichlids get big enough, they're going to start breeding. Um, and in the other 125, I've decided on green terrors and or jack dempseys, depending on the temperament of the fish. If not, I've always got that 75 there. So I'm going to try to breed them as well, right? So just a couple of things at a time. I'm not the kind of cycle fish through my room. Um, once I get them, I'm pretty well set on keeping them. And the only other thing, I have some angel fish. Um, in that back corner there, once I move the other stand that the 10 gallons are on, I am going to put up another 55 stand, so it's going to be another double 55 after I reseal those two 55s that I have. I'm going to be cutting lids for the 125s tomorrow. I'm going to be working on redoing the stand for that 90 and that 75 as well. And that'll pretty much complete it. I mean, barring like a 10 or 20 gallon rack, that's about it. Um, I'm running out of room and running out of tanks. You can always get more tanks, right? The last video I did for you guys, I explained to you how to get tanks cheaply. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention is Petco's dollar per gallon sale up to 40 gallons. You can get just the empty glass aquariums for a dollar a gallon, 10 gallons, $10, 20 gallon, $20, so on and so forth. I may do that um, just to get some 10 gallons, just to throw the different guppy strains in so that way I'm not trying to separate them the way I am now. It's kind of a pain in the neck. So that's, that's another thing you guys can do to save money. They do cut the prices of their larger tanks in half, so you'll usually get 50% off. Um, I know it goes up to at least 90 gallons for that, all right? So if you're looking for a tank, um, between 90 and 40 gallons, it'll be half price. If you're looking for a tank 40 gallons or below, it'll be a dollar a gallon, right? So they do it periodically. Um, just call your local Petco, look online. Um, if you're in any of the, you know, aquarium groups in Facebook, people will start posting about it when it's going on. There may actually be one going on right now, if I remember correctly. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Again, Happy New Year. If you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Um, this year is really going to be a big year for the channel. I grew really fast to start, and it's it's just keep it keeps going. You know, I appreciate all of you guys watching. I appreciate everyone that subscribed so far, and I look forward to making more content for you guys, getting you guys more helpful information, and showing you the progress of my fish room. All right, so have a great day, guys. Get home safe. Peace out.